Hello, this is Dylan, and welcome to the Cape Report for Monday, March 8th. Here's today's hot lunch choice. Walking tacos, golden corn, cheddar cheese cup, tomato and lettuce, and mandarin oranges. We have the winners in for the Cape Pick'em football polls, and the winners of the Cape Sweatshirt Report sweatshirt are Jackson Cunningham and Ellen Anderson. Keep watching for new contests and event from the Cape Report show. Now to Kevin's movie review. Out of all the Lego movies, the Lego Ninjago movie is the weakest installment. I had a harder time connecting with it because it doesn't do a good job in balancing both the comedy and drama. The film focuses too much on making an excessive amount of jokes which can lessen the impact of the emotional scenes and the supporting characters are pretty forgettable. However, many of the jokes were able to make me laugh and I was able to relate to Lloyd Garmadon. I felt a great amount of sympathy for the character because he has to struggle with the shadow his father has left on him in his social and personal life. While the movie wasn't as powerful as previous LEGO films, it delivered plenty of touching and emotional scenes that were able to make me cry. The LEGO animation style still impresses me and the performances by Dave Franco and Justin Therox were splendid. Finally, the movie would teach us a bunch of valuable lessons that tell me to unlock my inner strengths, embrace who I am, and change my point of view. The Lego Ninjago movie pieces together a B minus. Stop by the school store. They have new merchandise coming in regularly. Use the QR code to schedule a time to come in and shop. QR codes are located at the school store. DECA is still collecting sneakers. They can be dropped off in room B108 or the school store. March is theater in our schools month, and we had the opportunity to speak with Emily Simon and Andrew Garcia. March is Theater in Schools Month. With me, I have Andrew Garcia and Emily Simon. Tell me a little bit about Theater in Schools Month. So, Theater in Our Schools Month is really important because we are lucky enough to have a theater program here, which a lot of schools do not have. And some benefits to theater for kids is academics, um, better behavior, and good communication skills. Right, right. And you guys have some virtual performances coming up, right? Uh, that's right. We have a uh, virtual cabaret, which should be really fun. And then we also have a um, play coming up. It's the uh, Shakespeare production, um, A Midsummer's Night's Dream. And uh, that should be really fun as well. That sounds great. Where can students find out more about the Cape Theater programs? So for more information, you can follow us on Instagram at cape underscore theater, or you can contact Ms. Andrews. Thanks to the Cape Theater program for stopping by. It was wonderful to have them. Do you like photography or want to people to see your artwork? The new BB Surgical Center is having a art contest for student-created photos. See Mr. Fruckman for more information on how to enter. Thank you for watching the Cape Report. Let us know what's happening in your school life, and it may just be become part of the announcements. Use our Gmail below.